Welcome into our studios in Santa Monica, California. Steve Wiseman back alongside Chris Eubanks. And we've got John Wertheim from 60 Minutes Sports Illustrated back with us on the big screen as well. A fantastic championship Sunday. We're here to break it all down for you. John, what are your thoughts as we saw two trophies being raised in an hour? Yeah, let's let's uh, go in reverse order. Let's start with Felix, who had a really rough U.S. Open. It seemed like it was like Tuesday. It was about uh, almost two months ago. And boy, has he been terrific since. He's beaten Alcaraz twice. He beat Djokovic and now three straight titles. And I think the fact that he is doing it this late in the season is also really encouraging, says a lot about his durability physically, but also mentally. And very similar vein. Nice to see Medvedev back in action. It's been an up and down year for him, but here we are the last Sunday in October. I think it says a lot that these guys are playing this high level this late in the season. What do you guys think? For me, I think the biggest thing that I've seen and recognized from Felix is that he's found a way to control the unforced error count. He's always been an aggressive minded player, but typically the knock on him throughout the course of his very, very young career, we have to keep that in mind as well, is that he would have a higher unforced error count, so a lot of double faults, a lot of just routine missed forehands. But that has not been the case in these past few weeks, specifically in this week that we saw how well he was able to play in Basel. Keep that ratio exactly where you want. Any coach will tell you if you're able to play a match with 25 winners, six unforced errors, 28 winners, four unforced errors, 21 winners, 12 unforced errors, and in the final of your third tournament in a row, produce 27 winners and 11 unforced errors. Everyone is going to be pleased with that type of play. That type of performance from Felix has been so impressive, and I'm just happy to see it. All of the hard work is paying off for the Canadian. Yeah, and that's what he's been doing for the past month as we take a look at what Felix Ojeali-Asim has done these past three weeks. It has been spectacular. The hottest player on the ATP Tour right now. Good vibes. Back-to-back -back titles in Florence and Antwerp.